Good morning, year one, and welcome to Wednesday's English lesson. Before we begin, I would like you to reflect back on yesterday's learning. Can you remember what did we talk about in English yesterday? Good job, thank you for remembering. We talked about questions. Now, can you remind me, because I forgot, what is a question? Good job. A question is a sentence that needs an answer and they normally end up with a question mark. Fantastic. Now, let's put our brains to work. Are you ready? No, I'm excited. Okay, so here we go. We need to read these sentences, so I will need your help with that and decide whether they need a full stop or a question mark at the end. So we need to think whether these sentences are a statement or a question. Are you ready to read the first one? Good job. Help me read it. How are you? Is that a question or is that a statement? Does this sentence need an answer? Fantastic, it does. It is a question. So I need to put a question mark at the end. Good job. Let's read the second one. I like playing football. Does that need a full stop or a question mark at the end? Are you expecting to have an answer after you're saying that? No, so that is a statement. So we need a full stop. Brilliant job, well done. The next one says, who are you? Is that a question or is that a statement? Are you expecting an answer after that? Fantastic, you do. So that makes it a question. So it needs a question mark at the end. Good job. Okay, so let's read the next one. <clears throat> Can you help me? What is your favorite food? Do you expect an answer after saying this sentence? So you did, so this is a question. Can you call out what is your favorite food? Mine is pizza. Mm. Okay, so let's say the next one. I am very big. Is that a question? So you, are you expecting an answer after that? Or is it a statement? Good job, it is a statement. So when is a full stop, brilliant. The next one says, can you help me read it? Do you want a ban? Is that a question or is it the sentence, a sentence statement? Are you expecting an answer after it? Good job. Yes, you expect an answer. You expect someone to say yes, please, or no, thank you. So that makes it a question. So it needs a question mark at the end. Good job. And let's read the last one. Are you ready? Help me read it. So I like drinking tea. So is that a question? So are you expecting an answer after saying that? Or is that a statement? It is a statement. Well done. You're telling somebody that you like tea. Good job. So give yourself a big pat on the back if you got that right. Fantastic. So let's move on with today's learning and have a look at the Star Wars. My turn, your turn. Please repeat after me. My turn first. Adjective. Fantastic. I wonder if you remember what an adjective is. Good job. Is a describing word. Well done. Describe. Personality. Do you remember? This, the meaning of this word, we looked at it earlier on this year. Personality. Ooh. Mysterious. Appearance. Do you remember what that means? Fantastic, that means what someone looks like. Stripy. Famished. Famished is when someone is very, very hungry. Good job. Okay, so let's move on and look at your learning question. Your learning question today is, can you use interesting vocabulary? Your steps to success are to look closely at the character, 
to use appropriate adjectives to describe a noun, to describe their personality and their physical features. So let's reflect back on our prior learning. Can you remember what are adjectives? Good job, adjectives are describing words well done in the describing a noun, fantastic. Now, why do we use adjectives? Good, you can use this picture to give you a clue. Good, it says adjectives tell us how many are there. Might tell us something about a noun, might describe it. it might tell us what color a noun is. Might tell us the size. Um, how something feels like, how something sounds like, how a noun looks like, and how many behave. So, so how can someone might be behaving? So how is their personality? Okay, so these are the things that we're using this for. Okay. So, today, I would like your help to describe the target. First, let's think about what the target looks like, okay? So, what do you think the target looks like? Look closely at the picture and think of some interesting vocabulary to describe the target. Can you, you can pause the video now and write some adjectives down on your home learning book. Did you do that? Fantastic. So let's have a go doing that together. Okay, so let's think of some adjectives to describe the tiger. First, I think I would like to describe the tiger's appearance. So what the tiger looks like. So can you think of some adjectives to describe what the tiger looks like? Fantastic. It is stripey, has, I can see some stripes all over here, here fur. It's huge, well done. It's huge. What else can you tell me about it? What color is it? It's orange, well done, orange. And black stripes, with black stripes. Fantastic, with black stripes. Good job. What else can we say about the tiger? Good, it has sharp, oops, sharp teeth. Good, pointy ears. Fantastic, maybe you can think of some more adjectives to describe what the tiger looks like. Now, let's have a look at the personality. How would you describe the tiger's personality in the book, The Tiger Who Came to Tea by Judith Kerr? Would you say, is it scary? No, I wouldn't say so. I think the tiger in the book is friendly, so we can write the adjective friendly. What else would you say? Is it kind or do you think it's a bit rude? I think the tiger is kind of kind at the beginning because he's asking very nicely Sophie and her mum if the tiger could have tea with them. But then when mummy asks the tiger some questions, the tiger doesn't reply back. So I would say that the tiger is a bit rude. Would you say that? I think the tiger is a bit rude. Then what else can we say about it? Well, maybe she, she was hungry. Well done. The tiger was very hungry. And do you remember the other adjective that we used today? The new word? Famished. Well done. Famished. She's famished. That means she's so hungry. She's eating everything up. Then what else could we say about the tiger? She's happy at the end, isn't it? So happy, fantastic, because she had all the food she could have. And maybe she was full at the end, wasn't she? Good, lovely, well done. So here are some adjectives. Here are some adjectives to describe the tiger. 
that and you can use some of this in your work today okay so here are some adjectives of what the tiger looks like and here are some adjectives to describe the tiger's personality fantastic so your task today year one is to write adjectives to describe the tiger's features and personality your next step your challenge is to write one of your adjectives into a sentence try to extend your sentence by using the conjunction and you can copy this into your home learning book you can draw a tiger in the middle of your book and then you can write some interesting adjectives around it at the end I would like you to think of a sentence using one or two or even more of the adjectives that you used. Okay, I'm looking forward to look all your fantastic learning. Remember to take a picture and send that to your class teacher. Well done year one and I will see you all next time. Bye now.